the three-day retreat as a team advancing their operational efficiency for effective liquidity and cash management in Nigeria beyond rhetoric is aimed at improving on the capacity of stakeholders with the view of getting them more acquainted with emerging liquidity and cash management techniques. While declaring the retreat open, the Acting General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, who was represented by Chooks and Namekwe, revealed that the traditional rule of the thumb and her cash rationing approach is not sufficient enough to drive the country's economy as there are increased pressure on government funds and as managers of the funds, they need to avoid paying lip service in the administration of the funds. We must seek at all times for the knowledge that will keep us afloat in giving the right advices on cash management and at the right time. Managing funds is not just about expanding the available funds. We must constantly keep ourselves abreast with the strategies for knowing how to ensure inflows, when to expand, and when not to. And as well, be able to forecast into the foreseeable future the cash needs of government. He charged participants at the retreat to strive towards coming up with strategies that will help in establishing the rules of stakeholders towards operationalizing the bottom-up cash management policy. On this note, therefore, that I implore all participants to brainstorm and come up with cash and financial management strategies and practices that will help advance the practice of modern-day cash management. Therefore, we must all at this retreat strive towards coming up with the strategies that will help in establishing the rules of stakeholders towards operationalizing the bottom-up cash management policy. Airlines address the director of funds, officer of the Akhtan General of the Federation, Sabu Mohammed, explained that this year addition of the retreat to enable members of the committee estimate the ever-increasing pressure on government funds and develop feasible and sustainable solutions to managing fiscal challenges in optimal and efficient ways. It's to enable members X-ray the ever-increasing pressures on government funds and develop feasible and sustainable solutions to managing physical challenges in optimal and efficient ways. The team is considered apt. We intend to leverage on the successes recorded from the objective of the first and second edition of the retreat held in November 2017 in Kaduna and in March 2019 in Mina, respectively. Stakeholders at the retreat are expected to see the bottom-up cash management policy as a policy in order to help improve the management of government's domestic borrowing program as well as facilitating investment of excess or hydro cash. Emanuela Audu reporting for Moneyline with Nancy.